Hey guys, today I'll be playing some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, specifically, I'll be showing the Falcon 1 um, launch system that was made by... Uh, I've got to look this up real quick. Uh, Kerb X. It's kind of like a Kerbal SpaceX um, mod developer. And they've released a couple SpaceX related things. So here I'm just building a little satellite that we can leave up there and that is going to be launchable with the system with a Falcon 1. And I already have antennas. Um, not like you use them for anything, but they look cool. And throwing some uh, scientific instruments on here so it can be a uh, science satellite. All right. And let's get some battery packs. Can't have enough of those. Some. Uh, solar panels xenon container and then of course our ion propulsion so here's our uh, basic satellite design this will be able to change its orbit um, relatively well once it's launched by the and put into position by this Falcon 1. So this bottom plate here is both the decoupler, advanced SAS, and it's got two mounting points for these uh, fairings. And as you can see it just barely fits around my satellite, but it does fit. And so we've got that there. And our staging is still in the correct order. That's kind of important. Because uh, otherwise you can decouple while the fairings are still attached and your vehicle will be trapped inside. So you've got to decouple your fairings first. And uh, I actually record sound after I record the video. Um, had a little hard time here finding the right tank for my second stage, but I found it eventually. And there we go. And here's our, I believe it's the Merlin engine for the second stage. Or Kestrel engine. The first stage is, I believe, called Merlin. Could be wrong. Yep, Merlin 1C, and then the second stage is Kestrel. So here's the uh, stage decoupler and uh, fairing for that, or housing for that second stage. So it looks real nice. And then we just finish this off with our first stage thruster and I have tried this a couple times before and manually launched it this way a couple times before and this barely has enough fuel to get you to a hundred uh, I guess it's a hundred thousand meters um, 100 km a hundred thousand kilometers so it, it barely just has enough to get you to that orbit and uh, since I've done this a couple times before, I am going to go ahead and use uh, MechJub just for the launch. Um, because there's no real reason in running out of fuel by doing something less than perfect and then having to re-record a 13 minute video. 
Anyways, uh, I'll just find a nice spot for the Mac Jab. And you'll notice that this is actually on the second to last stage. So once I manually decouple the final stage, which is our uh, craft, which stays in orbit, uh, Mac Jab is no longer on the craft. So here it is on the launch pad. And you can see it's just barely fitting in there. And uh, when I was recording this, I actually clicked off screen and it crashed my game right here. So it had to restart. And here we go. Uh, let's do Ascent Autopilot. And I need to change that value back to 100. And I think I can hide it. Nope. If I hide it, it won't. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, that's not what I was trying to do, but we're off and nothing's broken. So, apparently, you do have to actually have the window visible for it to keep working. But as you can see, it picks up speed rather quick. And I'll pull up the vessel information here in a second. It's got a good uh, thrust to weight ratio. I think it's around four. And as you can see, it does burn through fuel pretty quickly. But our thrust to weight ratio is, it's good. And as it burns fuel, it only gets better. And when I've manually launched this before without mech jib, what I've done is strapped on two boosters to the side of it and then they get me straight up to about 10,000 meters which then I kick in this engine you know because my steering is not as perfect as mech Jeb is and it's able to just barely make it with very little fuel left and when I've manually done it I've had to give it a couple attempts and for the sake of realism uh, their launch vehicle is computer controlled and doesn't have boosters on the side of it so this is actually the most realistic and our first stage has been separated and we're on to our second stage which you can see has an even higher thrust to weight ratio and we're already going quite fast now and we're Okay, we'll cut back the engine now and just coast. And I do need to add parachutes on the first stage because the whole point of this uh, of the Falcon launch system is it's supposed to be reusable, at least the first stage of it. And the actual Falcon one, the second stage is not reusable. So we're just going to warp speed here to the apoesis. Probably saying that wrong. Never know how to pronounce words that I see online. Unless I specifically look up the pronunciation of it. But as you can see, I've got a couple things launched to this altitude. And that one that's at a real crazy altitude that I has to take some screenshots at. But this is uh, my save for YouTube videos, which I will be making some more of soon. And as you can see, it's now circularizing at just about 100,000. As you can see, the fuel is going away pretty quickly. Um, it stops. Like, yeah, it starts spinning for some reason, but that's how little fuel is left once we get to 100,000, which is just insane. Um, that gives you very little to work with, and that's why I manually, um, when I manually do it, I add some extra thrusters to the Falcon 1 because it's just not enough to do it by yourself. Unless you just get it perfect every single time, you're going to be out of fuel. 
Now, if you got uh, at least to a stable orbit, you could correct that using your final stage here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put out these antennas. And we're decoupled. So I'm also just going to run this for a second to get further away from it and just to test it out and open our solar panels here. And in retrospect, I should have made an action group for it, but neglected to do so. And here we go. We have a nice little science satellite in a stable orbit by our reuse semi reusable launch system and there's some of our debris and our second stage which you can see just floating away So let's check some of the uh, values on our scientific equipment. So we'll just turn all of these on. It's pretty cold. And we're in a vacuum, of course. So there we go. We are orbiting nicely. So additionally, the same mod maker has also made a dragon and dragon capsule and Falcon 9 launch system, which is awesome. Uh, there's actually been a previous dragon mod that I've seen, which the actual capsule is able to do thrust and everything. This specific one does not, but it includes the whole Falcon 9 launch system too, instead of just the Dragon capsule. But I will be making another video about that at a later point. But this is just a little preview of what it looks like. Thanks for watching.